What is up, you guys? Zuri back for another video. Today, I am extremely excited because one, it's a gorgeous day, and two, what I'm walking with right now is my new fancy dancy gimbal, which I had bought two years ago. And I bought for the purpose of making videos, and guess when I learned to use it? Yesterday. Had this thing for two years, and I'm just learning how to use it now. It's kind of funny, the things that we put off. You know, we'll do it later. And then you see those things you bought, and you don't end up using them. How annoying is that? Every time you see it, it's just a reminder, oh, I'm not doing the thing I said I want to be doing and holding yourself accountable. So for that reason, it's actually pretty fitting for what I want to share with you today. And the topic is confidence, right? Confidence is one of those things that it's hard to live in this world without it. Right? It's a very disempowering feeling to not be confident in the world we live in today. And this is something I like talking about as well because I think so many people struggle with it and it's so misinterpreted and there's different layers to confidence. But all in all, all I can really do is talk about my experience on the topic and where I came from. So that's what we're gonna do. Now you gotta ask yourself, why is confidence so important? Why is it worth talking about? Well, the simple answer to that question is, I think confidence dictates a lot of your life. Think about if you're unhappy with the way your life's turning out. Think about if you know, you're not getting the job you want. You're not asking the girl out that you want. You're not pursuing a dream that you care about or a passion because you're worried what other people are gonna think about you. These are all very real things and very real fears that people have and it's so unfortunate because I 100% have struggled with this in the past and still do. I think any any of the people you look at on social media, a lot of them have confidence, but it's still like a battle that they have to face constantly. And the unfortunate thing is they don't teach us this stuff in school. You know, you don't go to kindergarten to grade 8 to 8 to 12 and figure out how to be more confident, right? You learn all these things in a classroom that some of it applies to your real life, but then they kick you to the curb. And if you're graduating high school with no confidence on what you wanna do, who you are, and what you wanna do with your life, then you're just gonna settle for the easiest thing. For a lot of people, that's going to college. Other people, it's getting your first, you know, more than a minimum wage job, whatever you can do to start, you know, making it in the world. So why is this a particularly important topic for me to talk about? Well, I struggled with this a lot in the past. And the biggest thing is you don't get what you want when you lack confidence. I remember as a kid, I struggled with confidence so much. You know when you're hanging out with your friend and you're having a sleepover and you wanna ask if you can have a snack or you wanna ask if you can stay the night or you wanna ask if you can do something? Did you ever have that fear that you couldn't ask for it because of the rejection you might face? It's just like, so funny that we wouldn't ask for the things that we want, even at a young age. And then I got a little bit older, and all of a sudden I'm a preteen or even a teenager, still not knowing how to ask for what I want, still not really knowing what I want. And how that translates is me coming across as like an insecure person. You know what insecure people do? They hurt other people, they make other people wrong, and they're sometimes hard to connect with. And you know what? I had all my excuses, right? And I had the acne, I had the bad skin, I had the braces, didn't consider myself, you know, the best looking chap. And looking back, I don't know if that's true, um, but all I knew is those were my excuses that really held me back. And I used to think, I'm like, oh man, if only, if only I was better looking, I'd, I'd totally ask her out. I'd never not talk to a girl out of being shy if I just was better looking. And then years later, you know, I start going to the gym, skin clears up and braces come off and I'm still struggling with the issue. So the issue isn't the things that's wrong with me, right? Or the things that I think are wrong with me, the bad skin, the braces or whatever. The problem is a confidence. It's lacking belief. It's lacking worthiness. And these things, if you don't have them, it's gonna ruin your life. So I encourage you, look at the things in your world right now. What are you not doing because you're lacking confidence? 
I bet it's some pretty big stuff when you unpeel that that you're just not really looking at right now. One of the biggest things for me was putting myself out there and making videos and having fun while doing it. Because why? Because I didn't have the confidence in myself to not care what other people think about me, right? And but the funny thing is, I don't even know most of you, right? And I hope to get to know you and I hope we can build a relationship. And you, you know, like, comment and subscribe on the video. But the funny thing is, you don't really have a direct impact on my life quite yet if we don't know each other. And I'm still worried about what you might think or perceive me as. How wild is that? You know, think about how crazy that is. That I'm gonna let my fear and my insecurity of what you think and give you the power over me is, it's, it's quite comical when you think about it. All right, so Zuri, what's the answer? How do I become more confident so I can actually do the things that I wanna do? The answer is simple. No, it's not really simple, but it is to work on your worthiness, is to work on your self-belief, knowing that you are worthy of whatever you want. Because think about it this way, if you don't feel worthy, and this is like completely conscious, this isn't woo-woo stuff, if you don't feel worthy of achieving your goals or your wants or your desires, you in your mind are going to sabotage any opportunity that comes your way to present itself there because you don't feel worthy. So you're, whether you do it on purpose or not, you're consciously not going to accept that invitation. So the first thing is you gotta work on that belief. The second thing is you need to start changing up who you've been being. You have to recognize what hasn't been working for you so that you can change that and become the person who is confident and believes in themselves. And just like that, my gimbal died. And so video quality may suffer and it may not be as stable. So I'm gonna keep my arm as locked as possible to try and finish up the thoughts. But I did have a nice chat with my neighbor and we just discussed confidence for the last five minutes. So that was nice. So the next action item, what can you do to become more confident? Well, the first step, like we said, is acknowledging that you have a problem in this area. Then the second one is asking for help. And chances are, once you acknowledge it, is you gotta share that with somebody else that you, you know, trust and care about you. And that could be a friend, that could be a family member. And what that's gonna do is gonna help you get over the fact that this is, this is an issue for you. Because chances are they're gonna know, right? If, if you're not a confident person, you know, that kind of comes across in your way of being. And if you are, that's fine. If you wanna be more confident, you can tell people that. So when I started sharing parts of myself with my men's group, for example, that accelerated my belief and my trust and my overall confidence as well uh, tenfold, simply because there's other people in there on a similar mission that had similar struggles as men. Another easy way to build confidence is literally doing the thing that scares you the most. And that's why you gotta be able to ask for help as well or support on this because there's something you're probably not doing right now out of fear, right? And whatever that is, it has power over you. So if you can reclaim that power by doing the thing regardless, doing that thing that scares you regardless of the fear, oh man, you're gonna feel like on cloud nine because you just overcame something that in your head is this big obstacle for you. So some real time examples, if you're a dude, going up and talking to a girl, if that's something that scares you. For most of us, that can be a pretty intimidating thing to do. Maybe you're in a job that you just can't work anymore. You know, you're just sick of it. Maybe it's getting the cojones to quit that place. And no, maybe not jumping ship right away, but actually to start searching for another opportunity that might be a better fit that you might be more interested in. And it could be as simple as picking up a hobby, something that you've never tried before, something that you're not good at at all, and that you stick with it enough to actually get good at things. Because confidence is really just, is really just exposure to the unknown and doing it well, right? So the more comfortable you are doing things, the more confident you are going to do them. You know, if you work at, when I first got hired at McDonald's, everything was so overwhelming. This is a minimum wage job I had in high school. And everything was so overwhelming. I didn't know how to work the registrar. I didn't know how to, you know, do anything in the back. There was all these systems and stuff. And it took like a week to get into the rhythm of things. But eventually, 
the way they design those jobs is that now a computer is able to do it and you just get more comfortable doing it and in return you get more confident so if you can put yourself in a position where you're going to be in direct exposure that it's not going to kill you you know whatever your fear is it's probably not going to kill you unless you're talking about you know diving with sharks but even then statistically you're not gonna die from the sharks and one other thing that's really helped me with my confidence is starting saying yes to more opportunities and seeking out opportunities now that can be social opportunities that can be business opportunities that can be friendship opportunities whatever it is at the end of the day um, there's so much outside of the norm you got to like really shake yourself up because you can't just continue the way you've been continuing on you really have to get outside of your comfort zone to develop confidence. And the more that you're able to do these things, it just gets easier. And then it just becomes a way of being. And when it's the way you are, then you start controlling a lot more of your reality and you don't feel like the victim and you don't feel like things happen to you. And you can take a little bit more control and power back into your life. Because at the end of the day, this is the only one you're gonna get. And so working on confidence for me was a huge thing. Now, don't be arrogant, by the way, because that's not an attractive quality. Nobody really likes an arrogant person to an extent, right? If you're like Harvey Specter in suits, you know, you kind of give off that vibe where you got it all together, but those people aren't real. Sometimes they're out there, but you know, more often than not, you're just gonna be a douche because you have to be really poised to be able to pull that off. So don't be a douche. Nobody likes that guy. Don't be arrogant. Don't think you're better than other people, but know that you have value to bring to the world and that by you showing up in your empowered state, you're giving people the best version of you and you're sharing that with them, which is a gift. So if you're ready to start taking control of your life, being more confident and pushing your comfort zone, I want you to drop a like, I want you to subscribe to this channel and I want you to drop a comment what you're gonna do in the next 30 minutes or 30 days that's gonna make you a more confident version of yourself. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for coming on my walk with me on this beautiful sunny day. Hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for checking out the video. See you in the next one.